all right people so this video might break your heart because unfortunately when we like someone the number one instinct that we have is to trust them just like a baby we all we all trust babies we would never imagine that a baby is really a man masquerading as a baby in order to live free in our homes but sometimes cuteness sometimes chemistry causes us to create a bias what kind of bias it's called the halo effect the halo effect is when you like someone you're gonna automatically start attributing things that are positive. So if someone's good looking, you could you will assume that they're more trustworthy and that they won't lie to you and that they won't deceive you. If someone is un, is unattractive in your eyes, you're gonna assume that they're less trustworthy and that you shouldn't be around them for too long. And this is one of those videos, people, that no matter how many times I tell you to watch out for these signs or to walk away from people like this, you will never learn your lesson until you actually get hurt. You will never learn your lesson until you actually get stung by that bee. It's like when parents say, hey, little Bob the baby, don't touch that bee. And, dumb, and Bob the baby touches the bee, and then Bob the bee bites him, and then he learns his lesson. But unfortunately, some people are, have a hard, are even more hard-headed, and it requires them to be stung by the whole colony so that they can learn their lesson. And the reason why is this, man. We as humans have a feel, have, feel the need to believe we don't like not trusting people who we like. There's an uncomfortable feeling when we when we can't trust someone who we don't who we like a lot because it, it goes against our interests. There's there's a conflict of interest in there, and unfortunately, there are two there are two heads in our minds. Well, as men, we have three heads. There's your your logical brain, which says, "Hey, look, this person might not be good." There is your emotional brain, your heart, which says, "But I like this person." And then for men, then there's your dick, which says, "But I want to bang them." You know what I'm saying? Guys have three heads in that, in that way. Oh, little squirrel. Oh, look. Oh, inclusion. He's a black squirrel. Oh, my Lord. Martin Luther squirrel. All right. So, yeah. Um, so, as I was saying, after I got interrupted by the inclusionary squirrel, um, and so... So, and so, and so there's a part of us that hears. It's almost like when you're asleep and somebody's trying to wake you up, you are aware, you kind of know, you kind of hear that voice in your sleep that says, wake up, wake up, but you're so deep in the sleep that you sort of don't hear it at the same time. It's like a conundrum. And so there's a part of you that says, don't trust them. Your instinct, your inner voice. But yet, there's a louder voice, and that voice is in the form of your of your uh, prefrontal cortex. Um, no, there's your reptilian brain, and there's your re uh, prefrontal cortex. Your reptilian brain is always watching out for what's pleasurable, right? What's good? What could, what what could help you? But unfortunately, it it, comes, it it misconstrues what's good for you for what's pleasurable, right? And so we know that they're, they're not to be trusted, but yet our 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 reptilian brain wants to trust them but then your frontal cortex which is your seat of rationality says get the fuck away from that person so meditation will strengthen that right so before i tell you that the issue with that with, with why it's so hard to make that decision is because you have a weak frontal cortex and then you have a strong um amygdala the way you, you reverse that dy dynamic is to develop a meditation practice. It has been studied, it has been shown that meditation increases your willpower to say no, your frontal cortex, and it decreases the intensity of your amygdala. So it makes it easier to walk away from those situations. So let's talk about that, right? So the first sign that you shouldn't trust this person is that, well, the first, the blinding side, which is the chemistry. If you have strong chemistry, I would advise you to take a step back and to be a little bit more critical, to look for more signs that, that this might not work out. Because chemistry will always create a positive bias that will, that the, the type of bias that will almost like tell you you should trust this person right so be careful with the confirmation bias and the halo effect the chemistry you, you feel with this person will blind you from whatever machinations they have against you so that's the first one the second thing is watch out for inconsistencies if they're if if, if they say they're going to see you but consistently cancel because of work or because of this or that if you're noticing that there's there's always an excuse why they can't see you or they never really follow through on their plans or they say they like you but yet they put they pull away from time and time they say they like you but yet there's something in their behavior that says otherwise that you have a week where you see them and then the next week for some reason you don't see them like you got to be aware of that you, they, it's like when someone isn't consistent with you, be careful. They text you one day, they initiate the text, but then they take five days to respond. Be careful. 
And the problem is when we like someone, what they'll tell you is that I know I've been, I've been inconsistent, but disregard my inconsistency and focus on my words. I like you. Fuck that shit. Look at the inconsistency, man. The next one is that they're axes in their lives. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, especially if they, if, if they ask, if they tell you that their ex wants to live with them. Ladies and gentlemen. Not that the ex wants to live with them. Their ex needs a place for a week. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. If their ex is in their lives in any capacity, I will not trust them. I don't trust ex dick. Ex dick, I don't trust. Is that the inclusive nary squirrel behind me? I don't trust ex dick. The reason why is because the past has more power than the, than the future or the present. That's just the truth. If I'm fighting against a man who likes you and you're still not cut in contact with them, I don't care if you tell me that you're over them. If you're still not cut in contact with them, that's a red motherfucking flag if there's ever been a red flag. Ladies and gentlemen, do not tolerate that. Ladies and gentlemen, do not, and I repeat, do not tolerate anyone who tells you that they're friends with their ex and you shouldn't worry about them. Hey, right, right, squirrel? And God forbid if you're dating someone who, whose whole social circle is full of exes, people who they have sex with. Ladies and gentlemen, an ex is not just a marriage, it's not just a friend, it's not just somebody who they dated, it's also somebody who they banged. Plain and simple, people. So, it, it's, this, this, is, this, has, this has been my experience. Is that too many times, too many times, the ex has always been a problem. Too many times, people. And no matter what they tell you, if they are not out of, out of if they're not, if they're in touch with their exes, you better get ready for a psycho motherfucker. Plain and simple, people. So those types of people who are friends with their exes, those are the type of people who that will get you shot, people. Get away from people like that, okay? Now, the next one. The next one is if they break promises, broken promises. I'll never stay, I'll never get in touch with my ex, right? Or, or I promise to do this. I promise, like, uh, let's meet up here and they keep canceling. Or let's hang out next week and they don't do it. Um, or they tell you, let's hang out tomorrow. But yet, there's always something comes up, which goes li in line in line with inconsistencies. But whenever somebody emphasizes that, again, that they're gonna do something and they look at you in the eye, that's a promise of that's a promise of Father Alex, and you don't and they don't follow through on that, ladies and gentlemen. Especially if they make you look bad in front of your friends, you shouldn't trust that person. You just shouldn't trust that person, right? Now the next one is this is the next one, people. Don't you ever trust anyone who owes a lot of people money? People who owe a lot of people money will it, it show and they don't pay them back. It's such a sh sign of their character. People who owe people money, I, 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 it, I, I'm, I, I just, I just, I just have no words for that. I just have no words. If you trust someone who scammed people in the past, if you're dating someone or seeing someone who's a scammer, who, 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 who has a lot of people after them because they've been scammed or they took money from them, get away from that person. People with shady business deals, get away from that person because the way they deal with business is also the way they're gonna deal with you. Right along, right along breaking promises, it's just a lie. <laughs> like lying, plain and simple. And do not let them lie to you with tears. Do not let them lie to you with their ay bendito face. Don't people. Because like I said, your emotions will be your number one worst enemy when it comes to deciphering people who, who you shouldn't or shouldn't trust. So learn to believe people with your eyes, not with your words. Your eyes and your words will tell you two completely different story. Your, your ears will tell you the story they want to tell you. Your eyes will tell you reality. Sometimes the deception is staring you right in the face. Sometimes the truth is staring you right in the face, but because you don't want to believe it, because of confirmation bias, because you like them, you, you have a, you're, you're just more prone to be deceived by them. You know how they say your biggest enemies are people who are close to you? It's not that people who are close to you are, are evil. It's just that you, you're, they don't need to lie too much for you to, not, for you to trust them. Like, they don't, it, it doesn't take effort to deceive somebody who loves you. It's very easy to do that. So it's the same thing. 
Like, when you like someone, people, your eyes tell you the truth. And unfortunately, a lot of you guys will have to go through heartbreak to actually start trusting your eyes. Because you see it and then you're like, nah, there's no way. I know Father Alex said this, but there's no way. And then you get played and you're like, oh, fuck, he was right. Then, then you get yourself in a similar situation and you're like, no, no way. This time, I know Father Alex was right the last time, but he's wrong this time. And then you get played. And hopefully, the third time, if you're not hard-headed enough, you learn your lesson. And now the concept has, has stopped being a concept. Now it's wisdom. Now it's something that you apply and that you actively stay away from. You know, it's like if you're in the middle of the desert and you see a hot girl in a, in a dark forest asking you to come here and it's dark. Motherfucker, that's a trap. If you're dumb enough, you walk through, you know? And, and a lot of people have to get caught multiple times to actually learn their lesson, right? Be careful with those emotions. So that's why it's always better to meet people through your friends because whenever you meet people through online or you meet people and you don't know about their history, you, you don't, who do you ask about their history? You could only find out through them repeating their mistakes. That's the only way for you to find out that they're a bunch of liars. But if you know them from friends, they'll warn you. If you know them from a social circle, you kind of know who they are. So you kind of know how to stay away from them. But when you don't know them, people, it catches you by surprise. It ca because it, it just it doesn't add up after a while. It just it starts not adding up and it's frustrating because you think you know them, but the truth is you don't know them. You just hope that's how they are. You have a, you have an image of who they are and you hope they are who they who you seem who they seem to be. And the problem is that you're entering a, 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 you're entering a field of self-deception. Whenever you like someone and they're and they're and you and you have that gut feeling that there's something off about them. If you don't have control over your emotions, if you're extremely unhappy or you have low self-esteem, you're gonna lie to yourself. You're gonna find a way to lie to yourself and, and you're gonna convince yourself to stay with them. I'm telling you. And, and, and it takes years, um, um, well, low, for real self, low self-esteem people, but it takes months for people to recover from that, right? So that's why, that's why I tell you, like I had to do that shit, man. Like honestly, I say this because I'm, I'm, in, I'm in a similar situation, right? that I just don't trust someone, right? And, and I'm, getting, I'm getting really bad vibes from this person because, because of almost everything that I said. And that's what I'm gonna do, you know? I'm gonna take the advice that I'm giving in this video and I'm not gonna see them no more. Um, like, it's, you know, great person, nice person, don't get me wrong, but Father Alex does not deserve someone who's inconsistent in their lives. Like, it's just, like, why? You know what I'm saying? Like. You're, you're, you're giving me bad vibes, you know, you're, you're, you're saying one thing and doing the other. Go fuck yourself. How about that? <laughs> oh my God, he said that to someone. I could tell. Yes, people, go fuck yourself. Anyways, I got to go, people. Have a good day. Oh, yeah, and by the way, um, don't forget 50% off all of my coaching calls using the coupon code um, MINDFUL. Not 50% off, 20% off, and 50% um, and off all of our um, courses using the coupon code MINDFUL. See you guys later. Just don't stay with someone who's not over their ex, people. That's all. That's all.